Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas, some Anita's white metallic, an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Usually I would not use the sheer paint on the background, but I intend on covering the canvas with shovelfuls of paint and maybe even swiping some in between. So we'll see how that goes. And this is what I want to, this is my experiment. I want to see the Anita's, the Anita's white metallic is very inexpensive when you can find it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know where else to, to recommend you get it, but if you have a Hobby Lobby, grab four, five, six, because sometimes they run out. If you're close to me, you know why. <laughs> it's kind of like using water in watercolor for me. It's like wetting the paper in the background. It's just going to give me something to slide over. I kind of want to just run my spatula along the edge, top edge anyway. I don't do this very often. I think I've done it a couple times and it has mixed results. So I'm trying to conquer it basically. I'm thinking that I am going to grab my little swipe card and start by using a couple of colors that I like and creating a basic start. And maybe going from two directions. And I'm going to put my Amsterdam black with my pre-stained wood conditioner additive in there and you can ask me about that if you want. Right in there. And there's my first stripe. I need the, the spaces in between to be shovel width. That is the green gold from Folk Art. That is a turquoise I make myself. This is an Arteza electric blue. I'm going to use the card, am I, just like it is? Yes, I am. Steal some of that green. Go right down again. I think right there. That was nice. I got some pretty color out of that. Wasn't sure what I was going to get for a second. So my corner is covered. I like doing stuff like this because I get to experiment. Oh, I have. Whoop, oh no! And face down. Shoot. Well. Going on the edge of the canvas. If there's a dog hair in it, nobody will know unless you tell them. All right, I like doing stuff like this, I was saying, because I get to experiment with color combinations. That was a purple I make myself out of F folk art neon purple. That is a color shifting orange from Folk Art. This is a Golden Hour metallic pearl from Arteza. That's the electric blue again. I think I'm just going to keep right on using. Whatever I can find, I'm kind of interested in maybe snagging a little bit of that Anita's white metallic there. Those are slightly risky colors, I admit.
I am. I'm taking a chance. I'm just tipping it right up on its side. Dragging my card down through. Alright, so this might be really weird, but it might also be really cool. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to keep cleaning my card off so I have my stripes continuing. Hopefully. So I got beautiful cells the first time out, and that would be the stripe to remember, I guess. Now I'm going to just do what I was going to do. I need one more stripe, don't I? Yes, I do. So what did I do the first time? That's what I want to do again. This is a test. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's just how good my memory is. <laughs> oh, some gold. Yes, I remember now. Sometimes I think it really matters how much cell activator you have in there. And squashing it down when you pull. Pull this over to the edge and use my extra. Definitely think the more cell activator and the squish is important. Okay, we got a little flare over there. I'm a little scared to do this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a smaller scoop and scoop out. Oh, it's a double scoop. I did not expect that. It probably won't double scoop. It might. Probably had two pens in there. I don't think I'll be doing that again. <laughs> Unless I want to go from the other direction. That's a learning curve I'm not really prepared to invest in right at the moment. So it'll have a single scoop. I want another color in here. No way I can do this without wasting some color. Looks like I did not get my spacing quite correct. And I have enough paint left for one more if I put paint in. And I think it, I can put paint in, but it's going to have to be. Something kind of outrageous. There might be more of it in there than I need now, but I am going to give it a bit of a stir. I really should have used a smaller scoop. But the paint was already in the shovel, so that made it easy to want to use this one. That's kind of cool. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> figured it out. Yeah, 
Yeah, far better off with just using the side of the shovel than uh, than attempting to use the double scoop. That if it hadn't happened, I wouldn't have those weird stripes, which makes this kind of kind of special. And if I can get enough paint out of my box of paint, maybe I can do it over here too. Not a bad experiment as they go. I do need to take a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. My number one is a great one. Just finish off my stripes. They're not perfect, but I don't think they need to be other. I have enough paint in my box, which isn't much, but it's enough to cover my edge. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'd love to have that. Uh, thank you for watching the videos longer. That really helps my standing on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Uh, the commercials, when you do that, that's really appreciated. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching when the notifications come out. That, that's also a big assistance. If you are capable of supporting, helping support the studio's production of videos and you would like to be have the opportunity to win one of my paintings, check out and see if there's something that interests you. On this month's exhibition video, they change every month. They're always on the, they're always on the end screens of any video. I change them out all I'll change them all out. You can't talk. Um, <laughs> I'm almost done here. I lost some of my spaces in between, but it's actually so cool. Really, I ought to torch. I torched at least the bubbles caught in the paint. And you can generally fix any little muck-ups. Yes, my own new word, muck-up. Like, like paint is mucky. You know, <laughs> I think all the sensors died on TV, but they all moved to Facebook. They're all haunting us there. I've got just enough paint to leave myself over my edge and fix my stripes. I don't know if I need to keep you hostage for that right now, though. I have some beautiful paint colors on my tile, which are going to work perfect perfectly to finish off my stripes and not very much paint left in my box at all but possibly enough for me to want to fill in anything that's missing all right well that was a good experiment like I said I'm not sure why my timer's not going off. I guess it's because I was quicker than I thought I was. I'm going to use my torch to release all the bubbles caught in the paint, if there are any. And maybe we'll release some more patterns in the paint. That was obviously my best. And I, I definitely think I have the recipe. I have it in my mind how much of the Amsterdam black with the additive in there to put down now. And you're only going to find out by experimenting. I want to get rid of that hard line. They're adding some more hard lines. <laughs> I'm just fussing now. What can I tell you guys? I have 1900 videos on 19 lists, all organized by the 100. And then I have playlists. You can find by going to all playlists, creative playlists on my YouTube channel. And they're by topic and genre. And if you ever want a link and you can't find what you're looking for, ask me. I'd be more than happy to help you out. These are cool colors and very cool patterns, actually, too.
I, I really want to finish this. I'm sorry. I'm so focused on finishing that I'm not talking anymore. Probably you didn't notice that, though. Because I do talk a lot. All right, so what can I tell you? Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are all on my link tree along with my, my Facebook groups and my Amazon link where you can find my two books and the AXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula and all kinds of other stuff. The Facebook groups are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more for shopping pixels.com and Fine Art America, which you can also find that link on the link tree all by its onesies. I'm kind of I'm kind of wish I wasn't hurrying this because then the, my edges would look a lot more perfect. But I'm not sure that there's really all that much room in fluid art for perfection. You sort of have to love it the way it is. All right. So what did I not tell you already? Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you have questions, please ask me. Look for my community board for tomorrow's video. I post Monday through Friday. Who knows what time, but on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, I post also at 10 p.m. So that's easy to find that. I'm going to steal some of that. Put it right over here. I want you guys to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Try and get that squared off. Those cells are the bomb. Look at those. And the other good ones are right there. This might make a cool t-shirt design. I don't know if I could make it work for leggings. I have Teespring clothing or spring clothing underneath the video has my, my artwork on it. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know and I'll try and add it to FineArtAmericaPixels.com or Teespring Clothing. Teespring or Spring is the only place that has the all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. So just bear that in mind. But Fine Art America has lots of products. My email address, should you be interested in purchasing an artwork, is underneath the link tree. It's the first blue link is the link tree. And then under that, under Show More, is my email address and my paint pouring recipe and description of how I add GAC 800 to keep paintings from cracking to my mixture. What else can I tell you? I'm out of breath. Okay. Um, whatever it is, you'll see it in another video. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzell again in Spring Hill, Florida at, his, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Bye for now. Priscilla out.